Well, how do there, people, in the view of us, as I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm here to talk about the Game Awards 2022. And firstly, I've got to say, I was surprised not to see Hello Games pick up the reward for the communi best community. But yes, it did go to the Final Fantasy, so, you know, it's still pretty darn freaking sweet. But it, it would have been nice to have heard something from Hello Games around their new IP, or maybe what's in store for No Man's Sky. I mean, they are bringing it to PlayStation VR 2, and they are bringing it to iOS. It would have been nice to have had confirmed dates for iOS. We've already got the confirmed date for PlayStation VR 2. It's dropping on launch date. But anyways, it would have been nice to have heard about what their new game might be, but maybe it's too early days. I did think maybe it might be the Game Awards next year, but the Game Awards seems to be a pattern where they announce their new titles. Anyhow, we better move on onto the games that did appear and the games that have got me super excited for 2023. So let's do that, people. Shall we? Let's bring up my reaction cam. There we go. Chikaboom. Yes, I've um, upgraded this now. It's got jellyfish swimming around in the background. So this is the first one. This is Nightingale. Now, I've already done some videos on Nightingale. Now, hopefully I'm not going to get striped. I've got some I've got some Winamp music playing in the background. So hopefully that's going to help in not getting a flag. But here you go. Let's hit play and let's have a look at the new trailer for Nightingale. Now, Nightingale is available on PC only. But here we go. Let's hit play. The year is 1889. The world as you know it teeters on the brink. Oh, this looks so freaking epic. So as you know, people, I like open world MMO type games and I, I really like the steampunk world. I mean, it's got a freaking steampunk hat just sitting there. Sometimes I usually wear that and I probably will wear that while I'm playing. I am you know, Nightingale sort of playthrough, but I'm already wearing the flat cap like that chap in the actual trailer. So yeah, I can't wait to build my own character and be part of this world. But let's continue with the trailer. The magical network of portals has collapsed. Your people are cast asunder beyond the frontiers of your reality. Realms alive with monstrous beasts, eldritch creatures and dangers of which you cannot conceive. You must gather your wits, craft whatsoever you require, and build a life in the realms. Uncover the secrets of realm cards. And venture deeper into the unknown. Ford is winding and full of terrors. Save yourself. Survive the realms. And rebuild all that has been lost. So you can see down at the bottom it's going to be available on steam epic and so forth and so on but it does use unreal engine 5 now so i think that was showing off some of the lighting effects brought with lumen and also maybe some of the increased polygon count using nanite but yeah awesome that's that's so awesome to see i can't wait to jump in and start playing nightingale i actually hit on up the content creators sort of um package for this so hopefully hopefully i get it accepted and hopefully i'll be bringing it to my channel alongside no man's sky in the new year as soon as it drops anyhow this is another title that's really got me excited i've been watching blue protocol for a long time over in the japanese market and this has really got me because they've now said that it's coming to the western market and not only that 
It's coming to console. So here we go. Let's let's hit this one up because you might not be aware of Blue Protocol. It's an MMO. It's a Japanese sort of anime and anim MMO, but you can make your own character. There's videos on there of play closed beta testing where you see the actual content or well, the character creator in action and gameplay footage. So have a little hunt around if this one tickles your taste buds. It's definitely tantalized mine. Let's hit play.当初から Amazon Games to each one to the Kundekita game of Gosho Kai de Kirukoto, Tai Hen Reshko Moimas. Player Jishinga, SF Fantasy in a Boken or Egak Shinko to Nai. Online de Player Doshika Kyoruk Stetanosimeru, Action RPG, Zeh, Tai Ken Stekasai. Kono Koda de Utskushi Sekayo, Linen, PC, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Soshte S. Global in Tekyo de Kirukoto, Totemo Tanosimini Stamas. Okay, so where they say they're bringing it to the consoles next year, I think it's going to be second half, if I had to make a guess, mainly because they're going to be releasing this in Japan first, and then it's coming to the Western markets and coming to console. I'm hearing that it's going to be free to play with microtransactions inside for cosmetics only. It's not going to be play to win, and it's PvE, not PvP. And so, yeah, it's, it's sort of like cooperative play and it just looks great here we go let's have a look at the game do you remember what our world was before looks like a freaking painting this is amazing. Before the war. Before the darkness. Do you remember? You will. Your future needs you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <sighs> Looks freaking great, doesn't it? Now, a lot of the gameplay that you saw in there was without the HUD on. Again, you can find closed beta sort of footage out there that shows what the HUD looks like, but you can see here, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and S, and Steam. Can't wait for that one. I don't think I've come across a game that's been sort of, you know, put out there by Amazon before, though, so a little bit nervous on that one. Anyhow, I don't know what that was that came up at the end there. We've got ourselves an advert. Let's come out of there then. And the last one is Meet Your Maker. Let's close that down just in case it starts playing in the background. Now this one, it says likely yeah, mature audience is 17 plus. So, you know, watch this one at your own sort of discretion, really. Okay, so here we go. Let's hit play on this one. So meet your maker i'll just hit play and um you, i think you'll work out what the actual make the actual reason for the game is
Okay, so that one again. PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, the Xbox consoles, the whole freaking shebang, that one. So yeah, pretty darn sweet. So they're the games that I'm super duper excited for. So that Meet Your Maker one. That one, it's very creative because you get to make your own sort of raid sort of keep. So you make your own like little mini castle, fill it full of booby traps, put in some baddie NPCs in there, and then a raider comes along and tries to raid it. I think this would be pretty darn cool if some of the actual content creators out there that do content for No Man's Sky or inside of this community pick it up because it's got that base building type feel in there. But yeah, it would be quite cool, I think, to go and raid someone like Scottish Rod's base or something like that and see if I can do it or get through Moose's one or something. You know, that sort of stuff or even Jason's or Survivor bobs yeah it'd be interesting to see if other people pick it up but i know that i'm definitely going to be picking that one up it looks like a fun title that one it's not quite in the realms of mmo sort of epicness but it has the base building element and it just has that element of fun to it it's probably going to be something that i play maybe once a week or something on my channel it's not going to be something that takes a massive spotlight there but yeah so hopefully 2023 i'm going to have no man's sky on the go as always but accompanying in that i'm hoping to bring blue Pro Protocol in the second half of the year. I'm hoping that Nightingale drops maybe start of the year, maybe the first quarter. But that Meet Your Maker, I think, is on the cards first. So almost back to front there, some of those trailers, how I put them out in order. But there we go, people. That's everything that I've got to look forward to in 2023 when it comes to the Game Award trailers. There were a few other game trailers in there that did take my fancy. Like there was one called Europa, where you're this little guy flying around on planet Europa, which is one of uh, Jupiter's moons that one looked kind of good but at the same time it might look more like a relaxing affair type game that one I'm going to wait for a review and see where it goes with that one but I might pick that one up anyway people in the view of us let us know what you're excited for inside of the actual comments let me know if you're going to be picking up those titles that I'm interested in and whether you're interested in the same ones so anyway people in the view of us salute to Mondo and take care cheery bye for now